Hello everyone, in today's short video we will be talking about data arrays in virtual lab. Data arrays are the most basic data types in virtual lab. So whenever you are trying to construct any, uh, let's say optical entity, it could be a, uh, let's say electric field or a structure transmission function, uh, basically anything most of the time you're going to need to construct that entity initially by a data array so they are pretty fundamental now the next thing uh next cool feature about uh, data arrays in virtual lab is that you can you can manipulate them you can modify them on various levels so as you can see virtual lab has a set of tools that offers array computing uh, on a GUI level. It's pretty easy and intuitive to manipulate your data. And then you can later on add physical attributes to your data. You can uh, manipulate the sampling. You can uh, do various things and even take Fourier transforms. And the last but not the least, you can visualize your data and analyze them through various tools that virtual lab offers so let's just dive right in and see things in action so here's what i'm going to do i'm going to go to file uh i'm going to go to import import to numerical data array and then i will have a wizard this session will help me very intuitively to construct my data array so if I click on next, uh, I've already saved something on my hard drive. I already know it's two dimensional and it's also real value. So I'm going to leave things as they are. And that's my file. I already know the decimal separator is period. And for column separator, I should go with comma. Now if I click on preview, it shows you a pretty small graph and you can have your uh, values if, at each coordinate. And then if you click on this one, you can view all the values that your uh, data have. Okay, so if I click okay, I am going to give it some physical attribute currently it has no units so let's go with let's see electric field strength and then right here i'm going to need to specify the coordinate settings for description i'm going to leave it as x and y physical properties i'm going to go with length and then for interpolation method just set it to cubic six point for sampling distance um, it depends on oh well you, sh you should know what you're doing right here in my case I'm just going to set it to 50 micron and I'm going to center everything around zero if I hit finish, that's what I will get. So I can always deactivate interpolation and have a uh, actual view of the uh, data. So I also have the capability to go with show line marker right here in the selection section. If, if I click on this one, I can have a very nice looking cross section view and I can also go ahead and extract this uh, 1D graph. It's pretty uh, intuitive and simple. All I need to do is go to the manipulation selection related operations and click on extract equidistant 1D data along selected line. And 
you can again specify the interpolation method and everything. I'm going to leave data to be centered around zero. So and that's it. Now I can actually do the same thing in a different direction. Let's just say I go back and line marker. Let's just do it for the other direction and basically repeat what I did previously. And that's it. So I have two uh, 1D data arrays. I also can, just to put things together, I can, so I can basically go to edit subsets and I can click on append subsets from another data array. And if I click on yes, since this, uh, this one was already activated, I'm going to click on two, number two. And if I click OK, and go with the coordinate, common coordinates, if I come to view, you see that I have a set of data arrays. So I have everything in one window. I can just close all of them and keep things very tidy. And that, that could come in handy. And in customization of virtual lab, I talked about have various objects have various attributes. So this is a data array uh, 2D. And if you click on object, you can see all the attributes uh, that, that the data has. For example, here we have the array size, we have the coordinate boundaries, and the list goes on. And some of them can be modified right here in this list. I think that's it for this short video for today. Um, I wish you a very great time. Take care.